Hello and welcome back everyone to another Heart of Iron 4 playthrough. This time it's going to be France in the Cold War mod. So, at the start, you are in an interesting position because you are a receding colonial nation. You are fighting the insurgency in Vietnam. You are going to have to deal with a lot of trouble in Africa. And in Europe, you have uh, some potentially unstable environment to your east. So, to deal with that, the mod creators have given us a very, very, very big focus tree. And uh, due, yeah, due to the nature of the way that the Cold War mod works, this will be a very skippy kind of playthrough. I will be skipping a lot so that you do not have to deal with me just kind of, you know, derping about and doing things. Um, so yeah, essentially my objective um, is to make France great again, obviously, but you obviously do not know how I will do that, and uh, well, I guess you'll find out eventually. And uh, yeah, um, I guess I'll be coming back whenever something is happening. So, as you can see, our situation in Indochina is actually quite um, urgent to deal with. And so that's going to be one of the things I need to focus on in the beginning. Um, we just have a few divisions out here in uh, Hanoi, defending there. And uh, yeah, we have some extra forces down in the south. Actually, is... Uh, Laos in this war? They are. So Equity. that's kind of problematic. That's kind of problematic. Also, it Bye. says that this is a tank division, but it's not. It's actually four infantry. It's just four infantry. Yeah, mercenaries and paramilitaries, which do not have a counter. Attention. Actually, maybe if I do this... Mm. Mm. No, apparently. Bye. Anyway, we need to deal with everyone around here. So. Bye. Okay, no, 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 no. no. Some of them are changing. Some of them are not. So yeah, this is not very good. As you can see, they are assaulting our positions. They're assaulting our positions with um, tanks and stuff, so not a good idea to stand here. Also, yeah, I think that I will go back to this. So, um, we're gonna run away and, uh, ooh. yeah, our infantry here just got absolutely smashed. So my idea is to try to defend these airports as much as possible. The airports and the ports, because obviously... Then we can just bring in more troops to overwhelm them from uh, the rest of our the rest of our colonial empire. Speaking of that, I should have no. That's that's Djibouti. It's not me. Attention. No, this is again foreign legion. So yeah, basically the most yeah the closest units are in France essentially and Algeria. So we're going to start to transfer a few units. Where are you exactly? Right. So that they can go east and suppress this rebellion. Algiers. By the way, what is this? Cyrenaica Emirate. Oh wow, that's awesome. Interesting. <laughs> Free fascist Libya. Okay. That is interesting. Right now, our troops in Indochina are just trying to survive, and uh, they're not doing a very good job at that. But it could be worse. 
It could be worse. So, probably our Air Force is being very helpful. Yes, it is. And that's kind of also the reason why this really needs to hold. So that we can keep this airbase. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, now we can... Oh. There goes Greece. Now we can reach our comrades in arms here. Good. And here we are about to finish this Viet Cong pocket. If only it was this easy, says the United States right about now. Alright, and so these two fronts essentially unite. Excellent. And we are taking the Indochina focuses so that we have a uh, better idea of what's happening. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna be... Damn, we have a lot of... <laughs> we have a lot of national spirits. Not all of them very good. Really need to protect Hanoi. Send those paratroopers in. Attention. Paris. Okay, south of the country is cleared. Now we can move back north. Attention. And try to deal with these Viet Cong, uh, who probably will be getting a lot of bonuses eventually. I sure hope that they made this war actually pretty difficult. Otherwise, it would be a hell of a disappointment, you know? Vietnam was kind of a big deal, obviously. Yeah, and uh, South Vietnam... South Vietnam, well, the state of Vietnam, the empire here, actually has a lot of very powerful formations, but... Mm, they don't seem to be all that useful, and oh, we are going to lose Hanoi. But as long as we keep the airbase, it's fine. Right, this would be very good. We're just trying to get as many of these Indochina focuses done. Oh, we actually lost the airbase. That was the airbase. Crap. Right, well then, you are... You are become useless. So you go back. Can I request your troops? Yes, I can. Great. And apparently the Phnom Penh Guard Division is very elite. Good. Because it's small as hell. Come on, state of Vietnam. Don't be... Don't be this way. And give me those troops. Because we need them. And I will get his forces too, even though it's only one division. Also, as France, we actually have a lot of... Um, a lot of opportunities to recruit some very nasty people to fight on our side. <laughs> like uh, the Paladin Group, the Commandos, the Vinyl Corpor Corporation, Watchguard International. These guys all sound like they're villains from some kind of movie. Uh, JSA Air West Africa. This is all if we're at war. And then just in general we can recruit Wehrmacht veterans, former German SS veterans. Let's see what happens if we do this. Oh look! Foreign Infantry Regiment. Yep. So that's the mercenaries we were talking about. 
Not sure if there is any reason except role-playing to use mercenaries, but it's, I guess, pretty nice. And yeah, there is a lot of different ones. Recruit from Corsica, recruit from Languedoc, recruit Austrian Get SS veterans. Yeah, this is, uh, just in general, there's not a lot of... Allez, not a lot of nice people in there. We really need to keep Long Prabang in our hands, otherwise we're gonna lose Laos. And wait, what? Apparently we lost our... Oh. Okay. Sure. That just made, made us lose our general. Alright, this is an actual armor division because it is the South Vietnamese. Or rather, just in general, the Bye. Vietnamese allies. Yeah, you guys in Hanoi are not having the best of days, so... Yeah, I'll try to defeat you. Nah. Not working. Attention. Oh crap, that would capitulate, I think. French protectorate of Laos. Where are they? Uh, doesn't seem like it yet. Attention! Alright, we're getting reinforcements in. Just in time. And that's the end of the Malayan insurrection. So one less communist in the world. Amazing. Okay, the first reinforcements are arriving, so I am pretty confident that now things are going to be on the upswing for us. Damn, these are a lot of casualties. A lot of casualties for everyone involved. You still have a lot of manpower, because... People's Army. And population growth explosion is going to give you even more in the long term. We can recruit a lot of not savory characters for our armies. Should we do that? We have a long time to do this. What about you? This is a lot of political power. A thousand of them. For now, we're just going to be taking a lot of these. And don't be... Don't be fooled by the icon. These are all just infantry, mercenaries, and paramilitaries. Who I think are a kind of unique unit. Yep. Doesn't appear like you can actually... Well, uh, yeah, you can. Okay, so... Compared to infantry, how are they? It's difficult to see, actually. It's pretty difficult to see. They have less HP and less production cost, but they're actually better in some ways. So, yeah. That's how they are.
Oh, this is quite good. So despite the river crossing, our units are just absolutely decimating them because of the armor and the airplanes. However, they're not strong enough to break through. That is fine. Okay, lots of stuff happening. So, Republic of Indonesia has gained independence from the Netherlands. They, of course, do not have West Papua, not yet. The DDR has been established in Germany. So now the Soviets have their own little puppet state in Central Germany, uh, Central Europe. And yeah, so under the Socialist Unity Party, Socialistische Einheit, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. And the PRC creates simplified Chinese. Thanks. Otherwise, it would have been pretty damn difficult to learn all of this. The PRC is doing great. So the Zhongguo Gongchantang is, uh, yeah, doing its own thing. And it uh, seems like it's rising up. By the way, there's going to be an update for <laughs> Landlord Class Aside. I always love when I see that. Uh, there's going to be an update for PRC next time. So, yeah. Anyway, our front with Vietnam, as you probably saw, is relatively stable. Relatively stable. Belgium is paralyzed. Two days ago, strikes arose among the country, known for its beer and waffles. Reports say that this is due to the population being divided uh, between those in favor of their king, Leopold III, and those against them. Uh, the same day, Leopold came back from exile in Germany, where he stayed during the Second World War. So, um, I should probably say that, oh, yeah, I should probably say that we have a, uh, we have a big chance of strange things happening because the game is set to a historical. So yes, there could be quite a lot of things that aren't supposed to happen that are going to happen. So yes, I hope that you enjoy that. All right, now it is time to make our offensive and push north into the lair of the beast. The PRC establishes the foreign ministry. Well, okay. Soon enough, we shall have to deal with them too. Continue the attack. There we go. Yeah, now... Now it is going well. Continue the attack. Bougez-vous! Aux ordres. Gardez vos rangs. C'est parti! Retraite. Continue pushing on north so that we can get to their, you know, fortress among the hills. And then push across the big river to Haiphong. 
Attention. so that we can cut off Hanoi from outside support. Attention. Attention. On se bat. C'est parti. Bougez-vous. There we go. This should be. This should be looking great. Continue d'avancer. Ordre. The Republic of China and Taiwan. Well, looks like the nationalists are out. And Hanoi is out as well, being now surrounded. Let's see if we can take it straight away. Oh yeah, looks like it. This would be really, really right. useful. But yeah, they are about to come back into it, I think. However... Nope, they will not. Because I'm able to stop them with my armor. So Hanoi is going to be reduced. So, in this last major outbreak of violence, we probably have dealt the Vietnamese a blow that they cannot recover from. Because I just don't see how they're gonna get back from this. Most of their divisions are dead. Hanoi is taken back, so their industry is gone as well. And I think that this is about over. We have lost 20,000 men in this fight, and they have lost a lot more. Yeah, the big push is over, but it did its job. In the meantime, I'm trying to take some of these economy focuses, because they can be quite useful. Alright, now I'll be waiting until everyone is set and uh, ready to go, and then I'll make the last big offensive into the mountain fortresses. So the final push begins. So now my uh, my own armor division. Where are you? Oh no, that's that's not an armor division. The armor division decided to come back here for some bloody reason. Well, anyway, the light tanks of the South Vietnamese or State of Vietnam armor have managed to punch through their lines, and now I am trying to surround them, obviously, and compartmentalize these people. Having Attention. some of them be in the mountains and some of them be in the plains. Alright. So now we have managed to get these guys kind of trapped. Continue l'attaque. Continue l'attaque. Écoutez. 
Excellent. So half their forces are dead, and now we can take their capital. So we can hopefully just finish this war. This costly and worthless war. Excellent. Order has been restored to the French colonies. Excellent. So now we can take the restoring order to North Vietnam. And we have finished the ongoing colonial war. Excellent. So Old Northern, 17th parallel. Yeah, technically we do. For some reason we are not able to pick this. Owns Vin, owns Dien Bien. I think that means that South Vietnam was supposed to have capitulated. But who knows what South Vietnam might try to do. <laughs> Perhaps it would not be that great. Anyway, we shall use the state transfer tool to give them this. I will mark the state and transfer it over. Excellent. Oh, national focus bypassed. Okay, well, good. So that's complete. Uh, so now we shall... We can still recruit these veterans, obviously. We cannot take these other ones anymore, but don't worry. There's going to be more opportunities to do that in the future. And uh, yeah, I will... Yeah, I think I will end this first episode and I will continue off screen taking the economy stuff because it's very powerful and uh, then we shall start to think about politics yeah I think so so yeah have a good day see you soon hope you've enjoyed